<laughs> All right, so where the kids play, they're putting one of these nice new 5G towers there. You can see it's still all apart. And it's pieces there. We could get a zoom in. But anyway, I wanted you guys to pay attention to what's kind of pretty much right under it. This is where the kids play right there. And these are the softball fields, so mm -hmm. they like to put them in nice, convenient places um, to get the maximum effect on people. You can see they're just putting that one up. There's a look at its guts in there. I took some better high quality pictures so you can look at it. I see that shit. That's one of them right there. And there's just a shitload in a row. I don't know what they are. They're not airplanes. What is that? There's a flyby on Venus there. I know that was that was a, just a star because I got a super zoom. Oh yeah, in. there's the things again. Yep. Here, let's see. Wait, I heard about being satellites tonight. Yeah. Same arc as last time. See? Exactly, but they're just appearing over there. I don't think I'm filming it right now because I started talking. But let me see if I could zoom in again. There we go. Yeah, I don't think I could really get it any clearer than that. You see, I'm just fucking hauling ass in the sky, and there's a whole arc of them. If I back off, you'll see the next one coming. Yep, and then they get bright right here in this spot right here. See that one going? These are not airplanes. I can't even pick up airplanes. Uh, usually that far away, but look how bright that bitch is. And this is a star it's flying by. Or maybe not a star. I don't know what that is exactly. But a perfect arc just then makes me think they were out here in rows of three before before we missed it. But you see it you see how they're disappearing right there? Where? Right th right there they pretty much disappear and then they're really bright through here. Like in the same arc. And I think it's showing up on the camera at least. Would you guys see what we mean? Oh, yeah. See the next one in a row coming there? Right above Venus, just like last time, right? Right. Yeah, so that's pretty trippy shit, man. And then right about past that star right there, it'll disappear. Let me see if I can get this bitch zoomed in. You're recording? Yeah, I've been recording. I've been trying to zoom in on this motherfucker. It gets fuzzy like right when I get super close. So I don't know what that is. But yeah, I'm tracking it pretty good. That's hard to do, by the way. And then when it gets right there, it just kind of blinks oh. out. And disappears. But is there a new one coming behind it? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Let me zoom out a little bit. So we missed the the cluster of them probably. Yeah. But that's alright. You can see all these bitches coming in on a row there. You know what's weird is they actually look brighter in my camera than they are by the naked eye right now. Which is kind of weird. Right? Right. Look at them. Think that's an airplane? Nada. Not. And I am zoomed in on the max on this P... 1,000 shit right here. Yeah. 
See that big bright thing right there's a star and that's how I know where I'm at. I go back down here towards uh, towards Venus. Is that the last of them? No, there's one going up. That way. Where I don't see nothing. Um, let's see. Here. It's going up. My arms are tired. Where? It's up, 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 up. I don't see nothing moving, dude. It's okay. right there. Lost in the sea. I still don't see nothing moving. All right, it's right up. I see that one right there in the arc, though, that oh, I'm missing it's... right there. Look. Yeah, right there. Yeah, no, no, that one. I was looking at one on the top. I know, but that one's easier to get footage of. Yeah, and remember last time we noticed that we were staring in one spot, but they were actually all over the place in singles. Did that just take a curve? It sure the fuck did. What the fuck? Is that me? Probably. There's it was more. probably me. Yeah, there's one. Where? Two of them. One, one looks like it's following the other. And we've had all kinds of airplanes come through here. I mean, I've been looking at them and I know what they are. These are not airplanes. Or at least they're not any normal type of airplanes. You see, there's no red or green light. That's way the fuck up there, I'm telling you. So it's in the direction over way past Holloman. That has to be up there in the sky. So what is it? I don't know. But they keep coming on that same arc, don't they? No, actually, there's two on a different arc there. Let me back it up. There's that one. Right? That's a different one. They have, there's two arcs now. You see that? That one's going in a slightly different direction there. And these seem to be just a slightly different color than last time. Yeah, that bitch is moving, hauling ass there. Let's see. If I go back over to the same arc. There's another one. Try to zoom in on it. If I get too close, it gets blurry. Austin, go get me the tripod. If they're if they're gonna keep coming, I wanna I wanna try to. Yeah, see another one just appear. It's like they're coming out of a vortex right there, man. That's weird. Yeah, see, like there's a spot over here that they just come out of, and you don't see them before that spot. Can you get Can you pick that up on your phone like people do? No. It won't show it. That's too high up, right? Yeah. It barely picks up the moon, so... <laughs> there's the star, there's the object. You can see it hauling ass right there. And it's on the same arc, so... I'm seeing with my left, left eye, yeah, there's another one behind it. But I wanted to zoom in to where they're coming from. Ooh, there's one in a different direction. Going a different direction right there. Where? What right direction? out there in the same area. See it. I'm zoomed in on it. Ah, oh, shit. It was like last time, the ones that are going that way seem to be a little more yellow. I was just really zoomed in, so I don't know exactly where exactly that was. But yeah, there was one hauling ass that way too. Here, lost in uh No, I couldn't see it with my eye when I let off the zoom. So that one was even further up. And there was Foster, help me out here. Like this, I can't uh, do this while I'm holding it. I never get any help with this. Come on. Open this up. Loosen that. Get it up high so I can put the camera on it. Are they still coming? I'm looking. There's one, yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But I'm telling you, if you look down here, they come out of a spot and they're not illuminated until then. Let's see if I can catch that one. Where'd it go? Uh, oh, okay. There. Yeah, you know what? They actually are showing up In my camera, not too bad. I got a couple of them pretty good. Really? Yeah. I mean, we can't tell what they are really besides the light, but when I get to, like, there's a place that we could probably zoom in. I don't see anymore, of course. 
I'm still recording, but I don't see any more moving. But last time I saw one come over, you know what? It was in Orion's belt last time, too, uh -huh. that I saw the one going in that direction. That's funny. The one, the <laughs> one was going up, like, up that way. Like, yeah, right, Lost End? I saw that. Yeah. I, I never saw that one, but yes, I believe you. Remember last time we saw a bunch crisscrossing over here by the Big Dipper, too? A couple of them trying to avoid each other. Yeah, I remember. I couldn't believe that. Yeah, I know. I looked up and I saw the one, and I was like, God damn it, they're doing it again. Yeah, there's one. See it? Yeah. Right there in the yep. same arc. Yep. If I could get the camera attached here, maybe we could catch it before it disappears. Shit. All right, let me see here. Where where is it now compared to the star? It's right on. Right it. under it. All right. And there's another one coming. Where? In the back. Oh, huh. I lost that one. I see, see it. That yeah, I see it. That one is actually up higher than yeah. Venus. Yeah, I see it up there. With my eyes. And there's anyway. one below. That's the lowest I've seen that yeah, one. Yeah, there it is. I got this one. The lower one? No, I think it's the one up up there. Yeah. Did it just seem to slow down and stop there? I'm not that good of a cameraman, so I'm thinking it's slowed down. Now, what the fuck is that? It looks like a diamond to me, but really all I'm seeing is a light. They all look like that. Diamonds? We're going to have to get it in there to look at it. So I'm tracking this bitch, and as you can see from stars behind it, how fast it's kind of going across the sky. It, Whoa. It goes, it's going fast. See, you guys see that star next to it? These things are fucking hauling ass. And I'm thinking with the distance of how far away it is, that means it's even going faster than it appears to us. Now, let's see if we can see. It looks like there's a portal over here. I know this sounds silly, but I'm looking over here towards Orion's Belt, which is right there. Right? And off to the right from Orion's Belt or at least in tonight's sky, they were just coming out of the spot and they're not illuminated and then they're going across the same arc right over Venus. And that is a trip. See, I was kind of wishing a jet would come out so we could compare them on... There's another one. Where? Right. Oh, yeah, I see it right in the same arc, right? I also see a blink. Where? A blink? Yeah, the blinking one. Because uh, that's a jet, probably. Lost it. I definitely saw a blink. I lost this thing in the camera anyway. It's going to be really hard, but I'm going to try to brighten this up with contrast so we could see these objects a little bit better. I lost it. We got at least enough... Uh shots to see them yeah I got some several good ones even one that was going in the other direction so let me find so really they're coming they're popping up right around here somewhere so if we could get a star focused right all right I got it like just resting right above Venus there and I see a star a little bit of a star right there that yeah, so there's a star for a reference. If we could get it to just fly right by there again, it'll be accurate where you could like see some speed, but it seems like we, we relate to the party here. Because yeah, we that first time we saw them, it was, they were in groups of three, then groups of two, then groups of one. That's the end of it, because last time was over at 9.20. How many days ago right was that? Right now 9.40. That's so right. This is the end. You know what I mean? Like last Well, time. it was over right at what? 924 last time? Right Cuz we kind of marked the day. But how many days ago was that? Let me see. It's on your phone, March 15th. right? Yeah, when live stream March 15th. on my channel. What's today? Or I think it was March 15th. What's today? But remember, April let's look for 15th. some more cuz remember even for like 30 minutes afterwards, go turn off the porch light, Austin. Remember for like 30 minutes afterwards, we saw them going all different directions up in the sky. Yep. So, yeah, now we forgot to look at the mountain, too. I wanted to look at the mountain and see if there was a truck up there going blink, 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 blink. You know what I mean? March 25th. March 25th, so 
What's the date now? April 15th. Hmm. Wasn't today the original cutoff date for the staying home? Yep. No, it was no? April 10th. April 10th? I don't see n no more nothing. Do you? But last time it ended right when it said we could go outside. It did. That was weird. And so, so you guys look in different directions. I want to see if I can catch some more out here. Because last time there was a couple. Remember we looked to the western sky? Yeah. And then there was some in the eastern sky that was just going in crazy directions. There was one that was going really low. Like, way low. Here, let me... That was probably actually a jet. No. It was, was it not same. blinking? It was this it was solid same, light? It looked the same as the other one. All right. I think some Star Wars stuff is happening up there. I think that, yeah, we may be well, looking at um, satellite, satellite assets. I think that may be exactly what we just saw. That's why it seems to be but, over, but let me zoom in on see, Venus here to show you really how far this thing zooms in. But that was yesterday, though. Yeah, you remember it was like half daytime last time? As you can see right now, it's just a quarter daytime. I mean, a, a I quarter one. nighttime. I got one. You got one? Where? Where? From right Venus? There. Right there. Uh, oh, I see it. I see it. Diagonal? Yeah. Diagonal to the right. Down. To, from Venus. Yeah, that's low, I ain't it? I see it. I do. Look lower in the oh, sky. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's how low it was. Yeah. That's like the one we saw earlier, too. Yeah. See, I'm trying to zoom in, man, but when I get up super close, it blurs out. Why does some look brown or yellow or whatever? I don't know, but or you orange. see any blinking lights on that at all, like red or green, no, that would yeah. indicate that it's a fucking aircraft of any kind, helicopter, no. No. and just, if you guys it see another... Like a fucking star moving. Yeah, it's a moving star, but, yeah. Without blinking. It doesn't blink. It's not a blinky. It's not like the other things, and those are always, I think, a lot lower when we see them do that, yeah. when they... But yeah, these are the moving objects we were talking about. So I got some on oh, film. Yes. That was one more. It makes me not ready to go yet. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, if, I'm hoping we'll see a jet. But the, but the skies are weirdly quiet right now. As far as aircraft, you notice yeah, that? Yeah, we'll hear it. I know, but you know how we're sitting here at night and we hear these biplanes go by and these fucking prop planes and goddamn... Lear jets leaving and all kinds of shit like that. Jets. And right now we don't we don't hear nothing. Where's the Pleiades? The Pleiades is the um uh... I don't see it. I don't see it either. But you know, I always forget where shit's at, so so there's the big dipper. And Atlas busted apart, so we're not gonna even see that probably. Atlas plus busted apart like ten million years ago. Ten million years ago? You mean like two days ago? No, I mean... On in, Earth. On Earth, yeah. The light that we saw. No, it was a comet passing through oh, our solar comet. system, buddy. Oh. You don't know. I thought we were... I want to zoom in on the... You saw a shooting star? That'd be cool to catch one of those. Let me zoom in on Orion's belt and see how good this camera can actually do some stars at night. Because I was having trouble for a long time. That's pretty cool, actually, right there, if the, if it'll stay still. Yep, all right, so here we go. So this does work at night a little bit. I mean, I was kind of bad-mouthing the Nikon about not being able to zoom in, but I guess you got to have it on certain setting, and then it'll actually let you zoom in, kind of like a telescope, but with Wait. less light, visibly. I think I see another one. Where? Oh. You see those three stars? One, two, three? It's going. I see it. It's very dim and yeah. blurry. Yep. Yeah. See if I can get it. Where? Keep track compared to the stars so I can find it. It's north of that star. Yeah, it's so dark over there. It's so faint. It, it looks. It, it, I got that it. one looks far, farther. Ah. Somebody just. Why don't you guys just kick the thing? I had it, and then you kicked the tripod. Move. Was lost it. Oops. And now I lost it too. I lost it, but I had it Actually, in it's for. Right there, it's passing that shiny star on the uh, top. Uh, all right. I don't see it. This. Can you point at it again. You see it? 
That star, that shiny star up. I see the star. Where on is the it? left. Right it's on the left it. already? On the left. They passed it already. Who keeps kicking the damn tripod? I'm Stop. Not kicking I didn't I didn't move. I don't see it anymore. It's moving. It's really faint. Yeah, I know it was faint, but I did get it before someone kicked the tripod. Alright. I still see it. Okay, see. Alright, so now this month does start the um this month does start the uh, meteor shower, uh, and it peaks on like the 21st, I think maybe the 26th, somewhere around there. These are not fucking meteors. These are things that are in a perfect line, all traveling in a perfect geosynchronous orbit on Earth, which makes me think some are satellites, but the other night, like we said, when we were out here, we saw some navigate. They moved in comparison to each other, and they weren't on a straight... Uh, line where it, without moving they moved around each other so we're looking at objects flying some of them and and that night I also found some that flew through Orion's belt and they just look like the best I could describe it through the telescope is it looked like a bright uh, yellow candy corn yeah. um, and we'll go look at this video and unfortunately it probably just looks like lights moving but at least you can see how fast they're going in comparison to some of the stars I know I caught that Anyway, I'm going to zoom back into Orion's belt unless you guys see something. So I just got a feeling that right there is some action. Yeah, that is so cool. I wonder how close I can go. Oh, you know what we should try to look at is Betelgeuse. Ain't that right above it? Right there, I think that is Betelgeuse. Oh, I got blurry. And it does look kind of reddish, don't it? So, supposedly that thing's going to go supernova any time between now and a thousand years from now. <laughs> you guys don't see nothing else? Well, poo. But, like I said, we will be out here now that I figured out how to film at night time. Um, and check out the meteor shower that is coming um, this month I think it, if it's not started it's going to and it'll peak around the 20th I think you know faux 20 y'all we might be in Colorado on those days you still got off work for those days no I can oh no wait you had 4 4 20 20 huh? yeah. but now you want faux 20 <laughs> Yeah, I need 420 off. You just gonna tell them that at work? It's my holiday. <laughs> I ce celebrate. That's in my religion. Uh, well, uh, sir, uh, Hitler was my grandfather, so we kind of have to. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucked up. There's Anna. You can't really see her in the dark, though. Anyway, all right. All right, so we think we figured out what we were looking at, at least for the most part, as far as the ones that were flying in a line. Now, as you can see here, we're looking at Saturday, 5.53 a.m. Um, in my time zone, and this would be pretty much accurate, I guess, or at least close to what we were looking at there, so going across here. So we're pretty sure a bunch of them are satellites, and this... Uh, this is jamesdarpinion.com, um, and they show you where satellites are that you can see with the naked eye. If you go out there and it's nighttime, either with a naked eye or like with the camera I did. So most likely, most of the lights we saw were this. Um, the issue, though, is that we were outside and we went over to this. Maybe he just doesn't have it listed, um, but they didn't have any satellites listed so this is right here this arc is going to be in the morning I'm gonna try to go out there when this happens at uh, I guess let's see here 522 or so in the morning a.m. and I'm gonna try to catch this so we're, tr we're gonna try to verify that these are indeed satellites that we're seeing 
Um, specifically the Starlink satellite system. So this is going to be Thursday morning at 522 a.m. from where I'm seeing it. You can see over here on the right side screen it shows kind of where I should see that which is really close to where we were seeing um, the lights the other night. However, it's not in the same arc. They didn't have anything listed for the nights that we went out and saw lights and all of them cannot be satellites. Some of the ones that we saw actually reacted to one another and here's a different look at uh, Starlink, or which one? Yeah, this is Starlink 5BH. So what these are is the Elon Musk SpaceX Starlink system um, in conjunction with the military. Now these are supposed to be low Earth orbit, meaning these are tiny objects. I'm not sure why we can see them so good. Now they seem to come out of a vortex, which means kind of what I meant was is that that spot in the sky is right where the sun shines off of it and we're getting a reflection directly to where we're at and that's why they all light up so the setting sun in the west western sky is shining off the satellites and that's why we can see them supposedly now these are tiny satellites but this is what they were talking about and remember I told you before that in April they're going to do a massive um, military plus SpaceX in conjunction military exercise in the skies. And I think it's iron ironic that now that these satellites are up and you can see them with the naked eye and with the camera and people are going to start pointing their cameras that way, we are going to actually get to see things bumping off in the sky. Judging from what we saw the last couple nights that we noticed them, and I'm going to go back here, um, this is not what we saw on the first night, nor last night. And the only reason I say that is because the first night we saw it, they were groups of threes like this. Now, they were coming in an arc, so I'm pretty sure that most of them were satellites. However, we did see what seemed to be craft responding to one another and flying around it. I didn't get that on camera. I hope to. Um, I just figured out how to make the camera run better. So we're going to be trying to figure this out. And I'm going to try to get out here at all of these times and see some of these are in the daytime so I'm sure I can't get them um, but this one for sure look here CZ 4 C R B whatever that is and I'm gonna try to catch this specific satellite uh, in the eastern sky at 841 p.m. and I got reminders set for all of these so if you would like to check it out uh, Monday I think it was is the ISS now this is Starlink again this would be in the same angle that we were seeing them right here so this is Monday at 528 a.m. in the morning they should be flying by. So this is Starlink 2. Look, the, these are all military SpaceX satellites beaming down Wi-Fi and all kinds of mysterious other things. Monday, there's CZ. Uh, somewhere here, I forgot where it was, was the ISS on one of them. Yeah, here it is. Um, this would be early in the morning. I probably couldn't see this, but I will try. So I'm going to go ahead and schedule a reminder. Um, browser notification there we go so if you'd like to check out this stuff too um, here's James darpinion.com forward slash satellites and you can see if where you live you type in you can change your location right here put in your location and find out where you can try to see this the reason I want you guys to do this is so we can start eliminating lights in the sky um, pretty easily whenever you have this kind of information about satellites passing at a specific time. So I'll go back to this one um, right here, which is going to be in the morning. I'm going to try to catch it, which is Starlink 5BH. And I'm going to try to catch that. It should be over the western sky at that time of the morning. We're going to try to kick it. Now, once we identify all these lights, I'm going to start marking them off. And then when I find these other lights in the sky that we see, we're going to know that those are military satellites that are not listed and or unidentified flying objects. If we see them moving around like we did last time where they alter course around each other, um, we're going to know that those are some kind of craft. And so this is a little project that I'm going to be starting here um, now that I know how to run the camera. And plus the other night we saw the truck on the mountain pointed in in the direction that we always see so if I was here 
right here from this view, um, there's White Sands and the military base all right here. So we see a lot of UFOs here, but it's nothing like these, right? Just lights crossing the sky. And these are supposed to be tiny, so I'm not sure how we see them so good. But we see other things here, like stuff that does aerial acrobatics. And those are the kind of things that I want to catch on film, and I'm going to be trying to get there for you. That's been the goal for quite some time for me. Um, I just haven't been able to make it happen. But hopefully, now that we got a little more info, we can start narrowing down lights in the sky until we start seeing things that are truly unidentified.